Welcome to this video on printing white with Flexi 21 and an HP printer. We're going to go over several different scenarios today from printing white with a uh, layered file, uh, printing white with a file that does not have a white channel in it or a white layer, and then we're going to create uh, a couple jobs uh, or a job with multiple files uh, and, and join them into one file as a nested uh, layered file. So first of all, let's take a look at adding or printing white with a file that already has a layer in it. So let's go to add job. We're going to grab this file here. While it loads, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to our color management tab. In our color management tab, we're going to want to make sure and choose what kind of color mode we're using. So by default, I want this to print a white under flood. And so I'm going to click on that. And that's how it's going to print. You have other options here for white over flood. And then the WSW is the sandwich mode. So white under flood is the one we're using now. And then I can go into my separations tab and I can take a look at my channels and how they're going to be printing. So I've got in this file, I have a cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white channel. And then these are how they're printed as. Now I can edit these if I need to. And the reason why you would would be as if the file wasn't necessarily configured in the absolute correct way. For example, if a file was set up for Onyx, when you print white, typically they use the name spot one. And so if you get a file from maybe a customer or from somewhere else where the white channel is not necessarily labeled white, you would want to click on whatever channel it is that it's showing. So let's just say, for example, it says spot one. You click on this, it'll say spot one, you hit edit, and then you can choose what you want it to print as. So I can choose, I want it to print as white. A lot of times it'll show up as process, and that's how it's going to print. But in this case, we want it to print white. So whatever spot color they have defined as their white channel, you can set that here. So if it isn't necessarily called white, you can always make sure that your printer is going to print white for that color when it sees it. We're all good here. So let's go to our output channel preview. I'm going to click this box up here. And then I can preview my different colors. So I've got cyan, my magenta, my yellow, my black, and I can choose my white. Now it's, the white is represented by black here, so it's easy to see, but this is going to be my white layer. This job is actually ready to go and can be sent to print just like this because we've already done the work ahead of time and we've layered the soft or the layered the file correctly if we were to send this to print we would to go and so it's that easy to set up layers uh, or set up layers in, in your file and then print them inside of flexi the other instance is going to be what if we have a job that doesn't have a white layer in it like a bitmap for example well let's add a job and let's go in here and grab a tiff file and add one in Again, I'm going to make sure that my profile is set correctly to under flood. And then I'm going to check my output channel preview. And I'm going to select white. Now when it loads up here, we'll notice that nothing is showing up. And the reason why is because this file doesn't have a channel or a layer dedicated to white. And so what we'll need to do is actually go back to our printer options and tell the software what to look for for white. So we go here and we choose our white color specifically by default. In this case, it's set to spot color. So anytime there's a spot color that you've defined, you want to print as white, that's where it's going to print white. So in our previous file, we had a spot color called white and we set this to spot color that means that anywhere the spot color white was located in the file, that's where it was going to print white. So it's not just going to print anywhere, it's going to print in those specific locations. 
If I want to take a file like this that doesn't have a spot color, I can just say, for example, do a substrate. If I click substrate and go back to my preview, this is going to place a white substrate layer underneath everything. And so we can see here it's indicated by this solid black panel. It's going to print white underneath all of that. I can go back here and choose several other things as well. This will all depend on what kind of effect that you want on your print uh, for white. So if I say variable under and go to preview, what this is going to do is this is going to put more white ink on the darker areas. So like on their boots and on his pants and eyes, it's going to go darker. And in the lighter areas like the dress here and this outer area, it's going to either print very little white or none at all. So that's a variable option. Now we can do the opposite of that by choosing fill color. If we choose fill color and do a preview, it'll give us basically the opposite, where we're printing white everywhere except for the dark areas. So the darker the color, the less white it's going to print. The lighter the color, the more white it'll print. And at this point, this file is ready to go. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say I want it to print just white under everything, an even coat of white, and we are ready to send. You can send this job out to print and you would be good to go. The last two examples we're going to look at are going to be uh, splitting a job into layers and then adding multiple files in to create a layered job. So if we go back to our, our initial job that we had here, our boom vector file, we can actually right click on this and split the job by layers. Now this, doing it this way, is really helpful if you have multiple layers that you want to specifically layer and it might be easier for organization's sake to do it this way, especially in the sandwich mode. But here I can choose which layer I want and which ones are gonna print. Now because I have this one already set up as white, it already kinda knows that the white is, needs to be printed on this layer. If it wasn't, then you would just need to make sure and click on that if it wasn't uh, labeled as white. Hit OK. It nests them together. And now I can double click on this job and it's going to kind of show me the order in which these things are going to print. So again, we want to make sure that we're doing our under flood profile. And now this new layers tab shows up. If I click on this, I can then choose my different layers, whether I want to show them or not so I can preview different things, and then I can also change their settings if I need to. So this is going to be a way that you can split a job into separate uh, parts. One last job that we want to show you is adding multiple files together to create one layered job. And the great thing is here is that this is just a uh, three simple JPEGs is all this is. So I've got them labeled file A, B, and C. And I have them slightly different in, in terms of their uh, the way they look. I flipped one of them just so that we could differentiate them a little bit. I'm going to add them in, and they're just going to come in together like this. And the most important thing about putting files together or JPEGs or TIFF files in, together to make a sandwich job or a color white color is going to be making sure that they're the same size. So you'll notice here that they're exactly the same. If any of these files is off, it won't let you create that layered job. So I click on the job here. I'm going to highlight all three of them, just like this. Right click and say, create a layered job. The same window pops up with a little bit of a different option this time. So I'm going to file A is colors, that's right. The middle one is going to be printed white, and this last part is going to be printed as colors on the back. Hit OK. Then go to your Layers tab. And now I can preview all my layers, make changes that I need to, turn each layer on and off to kind of see what's going to be printing. And now I'm ready to send that file. 
So hopefully this will help you as you're trying to print with the new Flexi 21 and the new layers tool in the production manager with your HP printer.